Believe it or not, but AI has gone from a science fiction dream to a critical part of our everyday lives. As with most changes in life, it was thought to be having some positive and negative impacts on society as artificial intelligence continues to transform the world we live in. But to their surprise, this ever-fasting and evolving technology have seemed to cross the limit of negative impact that our society can bear to that extent that it is putting our world in danger. But how? Curious to know? Then like the video and stay tuned till the very end. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates on the channel. With that being said, let's get started from the basics. AI is not only a technology, it is more and more part of our daily lives. Every day we are witnessing new kinds of developments in each sphere of life, from politics to economics. Thanks to technology, artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things IoT, we can easily access many points we could not reach before. If you plan to live another 10 years, you should be ready for a world with machines doing all the things you dread doing today. Let's count for another 20. Even more will be done without your lifting the proverbial finger. It's not only menial tasks such as cleaning, laundry and dishes. High-end services previously not accessible to you will now be in your economic grasp. Your personal robots will know you better than you know yourself. This almost unimaginable lifestyle could become routine for the masses, given the tangible achievements of artificial intelligence, AI. So before jumping on more about it, let's try to understand what AI is actually all about. Artificial intelligence is the use of computer science programming to imitate human thought and action by analyzing data and surroundings, solving or anticipating problems, learning or self-teaching, or adapting to a variety of tasks. AI can relieve humans of various repetitive tasks. The technology can learn work once and repeat it as many times as desired by its human programmer. AI makes it possible for machines to learn from experience, adjust to new inputs, and perform human-like tasks. From chess-playing computers to self-driving cars, which rely heavily on deep learning and natural language processing. From the search we do on the internet to the goods that come to our door with a single click, technology is directly in our lives. Artificial intelligence has revolutionized technology in all industries and solved many problems faced by humanity. But do you really think it's all candy and rainbows? Or AI could be the worst thing that could ever happen to humankind? This has been a question in existence since the 1940s, when computer scientist Alan Turing wondered and began to believe that there would be a time when machines could have an unlimited impact on humanity through a process that mimicked evolution. Powerful solutions and the capabilities of artificial intelligence are developing very rapidly, and AI systems have the ability to understand human emotions and respond to them. One type of AI that is quickly finding its way into most consumers' homes is the voice assistant such as Apple's Siri, Amazon's Alexa, Google's Assistant and Microsoft's Cortana. No doubt that AI has dramatically improved the efficiency of our workplaces and eliminated the necessity for humans to perform tedious tasks. When artificial intelligence takes over repetitive or dangerous tasks, it frees up humans allowing them to perform tasks that involve creativity and leaves enough room and time for the interpersonal aspects of their lives. AI makes people's lives more efficient, powering many programs and services that help them do everyday things, such as connecting with friends and using an email program or rideshare service. But the latest developments in artificial intelligence might blow your mind. Yes, we are talking about none other than AI army robots. Everyone would agree that the nature of war has changed significantly since the end of World War II. Battle lines have now become opaque. An attack can come from terrorists who easily blend in as civilians, drones that are undetectable to the eye, or ballistic missiles launched from 500 miles away. To account for the increased lethality of war, a vast budget is required to maintain an active duty army. Simply recruiting a soldier costs $15,000. The cost of treating an injured US soldier is about $2 million a year. So to reduce those human costs through the deployment of computational agents and artificial intelligence is being done. In fact, the military robot market has been showing a constant rise in leading countries' defense budgets in recent years. According to some experts, Lethal Autonomous Weapons Systems (LAWS) are creating a third revolution in warfare. After gunpowder and nuclear weapons, it is time we start worrying about the day when armies of robots are capable of conducting hostilities with full autonomy, without humans to command them. 
The latest available data suggests that the military robot's market size will likely grow from $14.5 billion in 2020 to $24.2 billion by 2025, at a CAGR of 10.7%. Drivers for this market are said to include the increasing use of robots in areas affected by chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear CBRN attacks, the increased use of robots for mine countermeasures, and the increasing use of UAVs in life-threatening missions. Every branch of the US military is now clamoring for more and more robots. The US Navy is experimenting with a 135-ton ship named Sea Hunter that could patrol the oceans without a crew. Looking for submarines, it could one day attack directly. It will be commanded by an unmanned officer. The US Army is developing a new system for its tanks that can smartly pick targets and point a gun at them. It is also developing a missile system called the Joint Air-to-Ground Missile JAGM, that has the ability to pick out vehicles to attack without human say-so. And the US Air Force is working on its Skyborg program, an autonomous or unmanned aircraft teaming architecture that will enable the Air Force to posture, produce, and sustain mission sorties at sufficient tempo to produce and sustain combat mass in contested environments. Its speed of analysis and its ability to learn make AI attractive for combat systems. The military, although they still don't admit it, are probably already tempted to create combat systems capable of operating on the battlefield in a fully autonomous manner, which means being able to identify a target, open fire on it, move around and choose the optimal trajectories, allowing them to get to safety. On 1st September 2017, Russian President Vladimir Putin declared at a public lecture at a school in Yaroslavl, Artificial intelligence is the future, not only for Russia, but for all humankind. It comes with colossal opportunities, but also threats that are difficult to predict today. Whoever becomes the leader in this sphere will become the ruler of the world. He added that it would be highly undesirable for anyone to gain a monopoly. So, if we become leaders in this field, we will share these technologies with the entire world. But does this mean that we are not at the beginning of a new era of arms race? What do you think? As military robots come in diverse shapes and sizes based on the requirements, Markets and Markets predicted that the military robot industry will reach $30.83 billion by 2022, growing at a CAGR of 12.9% during the projected period of 2017 to 2022. Here's a look at the top most advanced military robots in the world, changing the face of warfare. Avatar 3, DOGO, Rise, Sapphire. Artificial intelligence has progressed rapidly and the future is arriving faster than the predictions shown in the film Minority Report, set in 2054. AI will be better than humans in translating languages by 2024, selling goods by 2031, and conducting surgeries by 2053. Many AI researchers roll their eyes when seeing this headline. Stephen Hawking warns that rise of robots may be disastrous for mankind. And why won't they? The reasons to be fearful of AI and robotics are well-founded. Reasonable people should be concerned about what may be unleashed with their introduction. AI can compete with our brains and robots can compete with our bodies, and in many cases can beat us handily already. And the more time that passes, the better these emerging technologies will become while our own capabilities are expected to remain more or less the same. The fact that big tech companies are some of the leading implementers of AI and robotics further contributes to the veryness many now feel. There have been a love-hate relationship between individuals and big companies, long before the present era of big tech. But when big tech, AI and robots work together, it gets even scarier. These issues are foreseeable, and the stakes are enormous. So what can be done? What is your opinion about it? Do you think development of AI is a threat to humankind? Comment down your views below. And if you liked the video, then hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notification as soon as we upload something new. This was it for today. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace.